Yes, I'm back. I'm still alive. Uh, internet problems. <laughs> I've kind of got internet back, so. Without further ado, Brand and Play SR3s. Because, um, yeah, everybody loves a good SR3 at uh, Brand and Play. I'll leave the link in the description below to the. Uh, the cars and the track is a, a combo that uh, everybody should have AI set to 100 and normal and I'm a bit rusty but dramatic pause um, Let's just jump in and see what happens. Second lap I'll talk you round it. For those who haven't tried this before, as a clatter the wall. But, um, it is a fantastic track from Project Cars. It's been converted over by the Project Cars modding team. Or as I like to call them, the uh, Norway MX-5 Owners Club. Seems to all be buying uh, MX-5s at the moment. Don't ask. Don't ask. I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure it's a medical complaint and you can uh, get tablets from it. Skip the curves. Past the Bondi Bear. Well, the AI's giving me a good race tonight, and I'm not doing anything silly, which you like to see. So, up and coming news uh, Fred's at it again. He's uh, posted, I'll have to shout with the uh, echoing sound off the bridge here. He's uh, posted up info on his next mod, which is due at the beginning of July. And it's the uh, Toyota GR86, or as us old heads like to call it, the Celica. Um, don't know what um, ranking that's going to go in, or whether it's standalone. Uh, either way, absolute classic car, rear-wheel drive, not too much power. Over covering the outside there, uh, so we look forward to that. Right, anyway, I was talking through this lap, wasn't I? Right, this is a third gear. Avoid the rocks; it'll rise as you come out of it. This one again, third gear tightens just here. Just catch the gla glass grass as the AI did up there. Just kick the back end out. This one here, just roll round. Don't power round. You don't need to drop a gear. Right, this one here is awkward, double right-hander. You drop off the bridge into it, I'm going to go second. Now we can open it up. Right-hander, don't lift. Well, I'll have to lift because I've driven into the back of him. Left-hander, don't lift. Okay, under the bridge, break in, down to third. Don't look at the gear indicator. <laughs> right, bumpy bit, very bumpy bit. Flat out here, but we're going to drop to fourth. Just here, for this last swing, otherwise you'll go really wide and hit Mrs. Miggins' garden fence. She don't want second gear, lots of lumps on the entry, we were. Chicane, fourth gear, lifting, rolling, getting a good power out of it. Okay, dropping down here. I'll leave it in fourth. You can go to third if you want. This is horrible. Dropping away. Locking up slightly as you come down onto the bridge again. Third gear. Watch the pavement. He says driving up it. Now we've got the dip. Which is horrible. It's got a jump. So get on the inside. Slightly point yourself in. Fourth gear. Double right-hander over the bridge, third gear, 
treat it as one long bend. This one here, go for second, because again, the cam breezes away and you kind of end up over burning the fence. And we're back on the start finish straight. Hello. Right, let's uh, let, let's get a bit. Let's let's go a bit crazy with it. See what we can do. like this because you will crash foreshadowing and the SR3 is just such a beautiful car to drive loads of feedback really sharp handling you can hang them out on the edge and really throw them around Looking for gaps here, looking for gaps, I'm not seeing any. Bit bumpy up here to get in gaps, but you never know. But he's looking for gaps as well, so the road isn't wide enough. Might get something air up the inside. Ooh, chop my nose off. There was being a little bit opportunist there. But we've got one, right, we're in third position. I did say I'm uh, going for it on this. We're still alive, so it's a good lap. And we've got him. I've overcooked it. Got it back. quiet for the rest of this lap and a half so you can listen to this beautiful engine going for it. <laughs> Took his mailbox out. This is the last lap, I'll keep quiet for half a lap and go for it. I nearly end up in the pub car park then. And this track is just stunning looking, it really is. It really is stunning. A bit distracting as the birds fly up the valley. <laughs> Again, I'll leave a link in the description below to these. Not to hit. It's that adverse camera on my corner gets me every time. A bit better that time. Just come back round the uh, 
the lock to finish the lap. Right, that's me. I'm back. Thanks for watching. I'll have something for you tomorrow. A little bit more. Uh... Oh, I don't know. Fought out. <laughs> nah. Anyway, adios.